The bankrupt company is not going to squeeze. Let's take a look. With a potential crash looming, we want AMC to continue to strengthen and get rid of the debt and interest. If AMC goes bankrupt because of the debt, there is no squeeze, so we want no debt. No debt equals no bankruptcy chances. Now, just to go off of that real quick, AMC is not going to go bankrupt because of their debt or interest. AMC has refinanced a lot of their high interest debt and is able to service it fairly easily, at least for the short term, from what I've read. Now, could AMC be in a better spot if they did get rid of the debts? Well, of course. But second, I believe AMC will squeeze with GME. Right now, is there a squeeze? Right now, all the scammers are still hanging on and shorting. This is a long game. At the end of the day, the shortest shares need to be brought back and Citadel posts a huge losses. They're borrowing money already. I believe in the DD. Patience is a virtue, young Jedi. So I agree with some parts of what this ape has to say, but every company has debt. It's all just about how easily they're able to service debt, how they're able to refinance the debt and what the terms are. That's much, much more important than just saying a company has debt or a company has no debt. The real important data is inside the small print. So while that's panicking, it's been said for almost two years that before the Moaz, it'll get really bad and ugly. They want to create less millionaire billionaires. It's a psychological game. If you are weak, then get out and stop crying. I personally have nothing to lose. F them. Never surrender. Personally, I think Moaz will start when you least expect it. Going back to Zen, not financial advice, just an ape. So I can only speak on my own personal experience. I'm currently down quite a bit on my shares of AMC and Ape. And I'm not going to lie, months back, many months back, it used to sort of annoy me or, or make me a little bit scared logging into my portfolio and looking where the shares are at and how much they were up or down. But at this point, I'm super zen. I don't really care either way. I don't really care how low they drop the price. I'm investing into the company because I believe in the company and I believe there's short-term or long-term upside potential. And I think there's a lot of it. So I'm going to buy more shares when the price is right and keep holding onto the shares that I have. But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like on this video for some good luck moving forward for AMC. And lastly, go to the second link down below in my description and join my private exclusive Discord server. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.